Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my videos. In this particular video, we're going to travel to South London in order to visit one of the seven magnificent cemeteries of London. We're going to visit Nunhead Cemetery created in the 1850s. In this particular video, we're going to walk around and look at the effects of nature on the magnificent monuments of Nunhead Cemetery. You see the cemetery operated for about a hundred years and over 150,000 people were buried here. But for the, last, for the last 60 or so years, it has turned into a nature conservation area. As a result, nature is consuming the once magnificent monuments. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk around, find some of these monuments, and admire the views of nature and its fighting against the monuments as the monuments are fighting against nature for survival. Let's do it. Nunhead Cemetery opened up its doors for public burials in the 1850s. Over the next 100 or so years, over 150,000 people were buried here. And then the cemetery was declared full and closed to further burials. It was also declared to be a nature conservation area. And nature was allowed to take over. And hundreds upon hundreds of once beautiful monuments completely disappeared and fell apart. It is now a very sad area of once glorious tombs, tombstones and monuments. You have to look very, very carefully in order to find evidence of the once beautiful monuments dedicated to the local residents here in South London. They are all now forgotten, the names on the tombstones long erased. And deep in the cemetery I find this beautiful monument here covered in moss. There's another one down there and one next to it. Here's the broken cross as it dropped down to the ground. And next to them, another monument from 1865. A rare example of the monument still preserved as nature is taking over slowly but surely. And there are so many beautiful statues that once decorated the tombs of the deceased. They have now either disappeared or are slowly disappearing, like this one here. We don't even know the tomb of the person, the name of the person to whom this statue was dedicated to. And it's a matter of time before this statue disappears all together as well. And uh, every time I come to Nunhead, I try to find this beautiful statue of the praying angel. It's located on a very small path in the perimeter of Nunhead. It was placed here 
on top of a tomb from 1921. It is also forgotten. And it looks absolutely stunning here at this part of the cemetery. If you come here, make sure you find it and say hello to this beautiful angel. And here is another beautiful monument somewhere in the center of the cemetery. It has survived for decades here because of its size and because of its location and it's a matter of time before even this one gets reduced into dust. Isn't this a beautiful monument and memorial here at Nunhead? Surrounded by wild nature. Still surviving. I'm now on a smaller path somewhere at Nunhead Cemetery. And here I find a beautiful statue of an angel. This tomb dates from 1911. And the unfortunate thing is that the head of the angel is missing. So it is not just nature that contributes to the destruction of these magnificent monuments. It is also human intervention and destruction. We know that this monument was destroyed by humans because the head is nowhere to be found here in this area. How sad, really. Now, once you visit Nanhead Cemetery and you walk around for a few minutes, two simultaneous feelings are gonna take over. And these are two conflicting feelings. The first one is an overwhelming feeling because of the beauty that you're gonna see here of nature actually taking over these ancient monuments, swallowing them up, trying to bring them down to the ground and to turn them into dust over a long period of time. The second feeling you're gonna have, you may get a little bit upset and you're gonna think, why isn't anybody taking these monuments to a museum to save them? Surely that's where they belong. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. The idea is this whole area has turned into a nature preservation area and these monuments eventually are going to turn into dust. Nature is going to win the battle against humans. Who were these people that were buried here so long ago? What were their names, the dates of their birth and death, we will never know. Most of the tombs have been taken over by nature and the names and dates erased forever from the ancient tombstones. The beautiful streets of this glamorous, once glamorous cemetery are now scenes of a forest like this one directly ahead of us. And sometimes in order to truly appreciate the effects of nature once a cemetery is abandoned, we need to go deep into the cemetery, pass what at one time were the main streets of the cemetery, 
and follow the small paths with care. And here we really see nature working constantly, consuming everything, turning everything into dust. If you visited Nanhead Cemetery, let's say around 1900, this would have been one of the main streets of the cemetery with beautiful monuments on both sides of the street. All that remains now are a few of the monuments covered in moss, like this one here the one next to it. This one is from 1869. This one has no date. And this one at one time was decorated on top with a beautiful urn. The urn fell off the top a long time ago and it has disappeared. Once the cemetery was abandoned the planted trees were allowed to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Eventually, they started dropping their branches or falling all together onto the ancient monuments, contributing to the destruction of these beautiful, once beautiful, ancient monuments. Here's a recent example. The branch has fallen on this beautiful monument from 1851 and it's a matter of time before the whole thing just drops to the ground. Now some of the monuments here at Nunhead because of their size, location or type of construction still persist and fight nature like this one here it dates from 1861 just think about that this tomb was placed here at Nunhead during the first year of the American Civil War and it's still here still looking glamorous and beautiful but it's not at the front of a once glamorous street as you can see here it's all alone and even here, in this case, it's a matter of time before something happens to it from the falling trees or other forces of nature or even human destruction. During the Victorian era, placing an obelisk on a tomb of a distinguished deceased person was the favorite decorative element like this one here and here at Nunhead on this street if you were to walk down the street on both sides there would have been many beautiful obelisks of a variety of sizes most of them have now fallen onto the ground and consumed by the leaves and eroded from the weather elements. You can see a base here without an obelisk. Instead, nowadays, this is what we see here.
and who are buried here in this once glamorous tomb. All we can tell is the names of Edward and Elizabeth Bale, B-A-Y-L. No dates are left on the monument. We don't know when they were born or when they died. All we can see is this once beautiful monument covered in vines deep in the forests of Nunhead Cemetery. And uh, here is another statue that I look for every time I come to Nunhead. It's a headless statue of a young lady holding a wreath decorating a tomb from 1860. It's beautiful, isn't it? Well, if you really want to see evidence what happens to a monument once nature takes over, let's look at this beautiful monument with an urn on top. Very, very typical Victorian. Let's go close. Let's see if we can read what it says. You will see that the names have disappeared. That's a sign that the monument is returning to nature. It's a matter of time before a tree falls on top of it and it collapses onto the ground just like thousands of them over here. And uh, here is another good example of the eroded monuments here at Nunhead. Here is another one with an urn on top. And you can see that the lettering has disappeared long ago. You can tell the name of Suzanne right there and Lydia, but that's about it. Next to it here we see a granite column that has fallen to the ground and behind it some forgotten tombstones. Now there are seven magnificent cemeteries here in London. All of them opened up in the 1840s or in the 1850s. Brompton, Kensal Green, Abney Park and Highgate, just to name four of the seven. But this one, Nunhead Cemetery, is by far the best. That's because this is where you see the battle between nature and the ancient monuments. This is the best Gothic cemetery in London. And a lot of tourists, once they arrive in London and they have some time, they go to Highgate, they pay the four or five pound ticket price in order to go inside. But this is free. This is the best. This is the most scenic, the most iconic, and the most magnificent of all. This is Vic. Thank you for watching my videos. Bye bye.